General Science, Standard 6, Chapter 5, Substances in the Surroundings, Their States and Properties. Let us continue. Let's try this. Take a thermometer from the laboratory. The bulb at its lower end is filled with mercury. The mercury rises to a certain level in the capillary tube above the bulb. You will see a scale next to the mercury column. Reading the figure near the level of the mercury tells us the temperature of air around the bulb of the thermometer. Hold the thermometer in water so that the bulb is completely immersed in the water and read the temperature of the water. Repeat the activity taking some hot water in one vessel and cold water or ice in another. Note the temperatures. Some examples with their temperatures are given in the table. Boiling Water is continuously evaporating. We know that water spilled on the floor dries up slowly on its own. This evaporation occurs from the surface of the water. What happens when water boils? As the water gets heated, its temperature increases and it evaporates at a faster and faster rate. When water kept on a stove attains a particular temperature or level of heat, then evaporation takes place in all parts of the body of water. Then we see water bubbles rising at a faster and faster rates to the surface and steam mixing in the air. This is called boiling of water or ebullition. At sea level, pure water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. This is the boiling point of water. When water vapor cools, it is converted into water again. This process is called condensation. Condensation of steam also takes place at 100 degrees Celsius. It means that the boiling point and condensation point of water are one and the same, that is 100 degrees Celsius. Freezing the water kept in a fridge or on ice becomes cooler and cooler. That is, its temperature falls. At a certain temperature, water does not get any cooler but starts freezing and forms ice. The temperature at which this happens is called the freezing point of water. The temperature of a substance can fall below 0 degrees Celsius. Example, the temperature of air in the freezer of a refrigerator is around minus 18 degrees Celsius. It is read as minus 18 degrees Celsius. When ice gets heat, it starts melting or changing into the liquid state again. Ice melts at 0 degrees Celsius. It means that the freezing point and melting point of water are one and the same. Each substance has a specific boiling point which is also its condensation point. Each substance has a specific melting point which is the same as its freezing point. 
the temperature at which a substance boils while heating is the same as the temperature at which it condenses when it is cooled similarly the temperature at which a substance freezes while cooling is the same as the temperature at which it melts when it is heated